All right, so today what we want to do is say we want to use our phone to do something. I know say most times my tutorial already they be laptop, laptop, computer, computer. So today we want to try to use our phone. And what we want to do is say we want to use our phone to take a deep picture. Now you know go feed do proper retouching, but you go feed do if you use and take a deep picture. If you be photographer, we be say you run out of time and it be like say client don't they squeeze face. If you use your phone, take a deep time. So the two apps we will go use now either Lightroom or Photoshop Express. Anyone, any of them, they for your app app store. So just download them. But my own are Lightroom. So make we start, make we start time not there big. Now, first thing to do, you open your Lightroom app or your Photoshop Express. I open Lightroom, then you locate the picture. We can look, might just use which picture I go use now. Might use this picture. Yes, yeah, sharp. Much I did this picture. See, I said the picture they flat. Now I think Canon, I don't forget the Canon way take this picture. So many years ago now I take this picture. So more just try to edit this picture. So if you come me, oh sorry. More risk, come on this thing. If you come this beginning part now, if you come this beginning part, you go see auto, you go see light, you go see blur effect and details. If you click on auto, you go just automatic, just put in your own way. But in case we want to see the auto not bad though, but in case we want to get control, if we start from the auto like this, or we manually they do them ourselves. Okay, go back. So if you want to go back, you see this arrow with there. You go press them. You go see arrow with the point back, arrow with the go front. You they follow. Back now to undo. Front now to redo. Sharp. So more go light. So with the, with the way the picture did, the first way we go like art for this picture, now shadows. Because this picture they somehow overexposed. So more add shadows like this. So that we go begin to see detail of the picture. Then we we'll go blacks. Add blacks like this. Then we we'll go contrast. Add contrast like this. Exposure. I know I make we touch our exposure. Instead, make we touch our highlights. If you look at the picture, some part be like say that the white. So just drop your highlights. So that we'll go to see detail of the picture. In case highlight not drum, if you use white. Sharp. So we don't reach that part of the auto. Uh -huh. So if you look down, you go see the next tab, color. You click on color. You go see white balance. We get different presets here, but one dwarm manually, so I will go no. Uh -huh. If you want to make it be black and white, just tick on this part, B and W, you go black and white, but no way. So we get temperature here. Yeah? Anything will look like blue. Anything will date towards blue. Now cold, anything way day towards orange or yellow, now warm. So this picture now sunny day. There's no way we go put them for blue like this. You know, go enter. So we could just go up. Because of the sun they warm now. So we just go up like this. The tint left na green. Up na is it purple or pink? I think purple. So there's no way we go figure here. We're gonna plant with the edit now. So we could just go down a bit, just slightly. We feel I haven't touched this one. Minus nine too much. We even for minus five. Providence bank crest. We even for minus five. Then if you go down, you go see vibrance and saturation. I will just explain the difference between vibrance and saturation. But make I just explain them again. Vibrance, they add color, or they add saturation. To a part of picture will not get so much color. Only those parts will not get so much color. Nine vibrant go add the color. Then saturation go add to all parts. That's why if you slide up like this, you see and see all the part of the picture, they day saturated. They day colorful, over color. Uh -huh. So much I'll put a bit of vibrance like this. Then saturation, do we need to put yeah, more, more put it small, very small. So, so far, see what we get before, yeah? See what we get now. See what we get before. See what we get now. Now, I'm going to proceed. The next thing, now grading. For yeah, if you see, you can see grading. But I know I'm going to oh, go back. I know I'm going to touch grading for now. More use color mixer first. Now, this color mixer, pay attention. This color mixer will help you 
boost colors individually. Now, hue, now to change color. They look the fruit. See, I say the fruit, they, they ripe. You know, they ripe. They be like <laughs> full ripe, half ripe. But we could leave down first. So what did this hue go do? We say we get different different colors for up. We get red, orange, yellow, green, teal, blue, purple, and pink. Now, any color where you select from this circle, this slider go to affect only that color with for inside the picture. So if I choose green, for example, if I put saturation for green, the green, only the green, I'm going to change color. You see, if I remove saturation, see, I say the green don't they dull. Every other color, like the fruit itself, they go jump. That one, no, nothing happen. So I'm going to put them for zero, minus two first. I'm going to put them for zero. Uh -huh. Now I'm going to go back to our first one. This color now go affect the fruit. Go affect the fruit. So if I put hue, the fruit color go to change. See the fruit color before? See, I say the color, all the colors don't come out. I want to make the color, the color they like this. Then after I don't select them, if I can't add saturation, I go to pop the fruit more. I don't know whether this person, they ever they notice the difference. See, I'm saying the fruit don't become overripe, more like luminance go add, make the fruit day darker or make it day brighter. So more we'll living somewhere around there. Then orange. More we'll put orange here. Yeah. If we decide to make our orange, make it day towards or make it day towards green. So we could remove our slider up. This orange will affect the fruit. If you take them down, see the color of the fruit. If you take them up, it could get desaturated. So more we'll living like this. So sometimes like this teal, I'm not just sure saying it could do anything because this particular color not day for this picture. So the color need to day on this picture. Blue. I'm not sure say blue go do any, do anything because blue not day for this picture. So you need to pick color with day on this picture. So the color with day for this picture now, now, let's say this first one, this second one, this third one, and this fourth one. Now green. If you choose green now, if I change the hue of green, you go see and say the color they change like this. You go day too green, like this. You go some. You get some pictures where you go see. You go notice that the background are this color. Why the person drop the greens? The person make the person change the hue of the green towards this side. So more live on somewhere around here. The more saturation. No more go back. He more make and re green like this. Is it too much? If you did too much, you reduce that. You get the point. More leave and song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Luminance of the green. More make the green darker. Oh, yeah. When they dark like this. Then we'll go orange. If you decide to change the hue of the orange, we'll go towards green. See where they come from. Oh. See where we're they now. Uh -huh. If you decide to drop saturation of the entire image later. So you get the point. Now this color mix. You get the point. So, color grading. Yeah, if you move your your mouse, if you move this thing around, you're going to change according to the color where you the point this thing to. Here and there. Oh, yeah. Then you do. Sharp. Who oh, come this one? You see, I'm, if I go towards orange, you do orange. If I go towards green, you do green. So, but I don't want to do anything here. Yeah. Okay, reset. Sharp. To reset, double click here. Move and go like this. Move even like this. Yes. We'll see this third one. Highlight. So we get the grade in a three layers a day. Oh, go back. A three layers a day. We get mid tones. We get shadows. We'll be the darker parts. We get mid tone. We'll be the middle. Then we get. Highlights will be like the brightest part. Uh -huh. So we'll just click on done. Blow, this one I want to begin our defects. So we get blow now for premium users. 
then um, effect if you add texture to the picture you see the picture don't get some kind of more contrast if you add clarity they make the picture this sharp the is now like opposite then um detail if you want to add sharpening if you sharp the image so the, see where they come from obviously never forget see where they come from and see where we did now then if you decide to add the radius of the sharpening up or down then we'll go effect if you decide to add them um, vignette but Vignette, I know they, I know they like them at all. That the way they did, like, say, around the picture dark. Me, I know they like them. No way. If you add green, like noise for the picture, I'm not sure we're going to need them for this particular picture. But if they edit, let's say, picture where you go post on your social media, if you add green. Uh -huh. Now, one thing I don't notice here, and I say, for me, this image today oversaturated, that is color too much. So, what I could just do, I could just go by that color tab. Go under saturation, drop them. Or oh, I use vibrance, drop them. So, see where we, see what we get before, see what we get now. So, this is a rough estimate of how if you take just use the app, take edit. So, you get the idea now. If you just play with the app, if not picture, maybe we'll go do another one where we say we'll use picture properly, take edit. So I believe say so you get the idea and that's not the way you go fit take practicalize on your own. I did sure say you go fit. Uh -huh. If you like, you like. If you like, you comment. If you like, you share. I don't go.